Jessica Ishai Jeskai? Yeah, Jessica Ishai Jeskai. <laughs> That's a fucking tongue twister. <laughs> no, I know, right? Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week we're joined by Jimmy and Fernando from Dead On Board. So first up, I'm playing Godo. Fernando is playing Timna Kadama Stax. Cam is playing Jessica Ishai Jeskai. And Jimmy is playing Zuri Animator. I did a free mulligan. Everybody ready? Let's do it. Good luck, everyone. I'll get started. Mountain Pass. Love to see it. Ooh. Nice oh, art. Thanks. Thanks. Play a misty rainforest. Oh, wow. See, why is it so blown out right now? I was more concerned about the extra glare on my screen than anything else this game. We had a game two, it's up for patrons. The entire game two, it's like an hour long. It's like the whole thing. You can see the light shifting on my board the entire time. I can't get over my fucking board here. It's I goddamn that, ridiculous. I hope that you kept in every single time. No, I did. I, I cut, I cut oh, a couple damn. of out. But in game two, it's a full game, so oh, I left yeah, them all in for that one. Thing. The webcam I got is a piece of shit, is really what it is. The lands are, re the mountains are red it's a red it's a red mountain it looks very i mean i guess i mean it is is a snow land so it, that is kind of maybe it's just maybe just it's also lands. foily too yeah. so it's like <laughs> reflecting off well of it looks light. way better on my phone camera so <laughs> fuck this camera Misty pass draw for turn blooded brands into jeweled lotus oof that's ishai oof is what he wish that he had. We're gonna go get a volcanic island to cast Ishai. I will pass the turn then. Draw. Mana crit. Trigger. Command tower. I'll cast a lightning greaves. Here we go. Pass. Shatter skull of the hammer pass. Paying three life to have it come in untapped. Grim monolith. Trigger. Pass turn. I'll do these now then. Going to 39. Try them. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. I gotta play a Gaius Cradle and pass. I'll draw. Play Arid Mesa as land for turn. We're gonna go to combat and we're gonna hit Jimmy in the air for four. Okay, yes. Four commando damage, great. All right, then I will then crack my Arid Mesa, going down to 38, pick up a Tundra, drop down a Felwar Stone. Pass the turn. End of turn. Mystical Tutor. Get a counter. Get a sword. Yeah, also at end step, I'm going to tap one for green and you casted a blue spell, so I'm just gonna pretty much cycle this. Yep. Counter. Interesting. Untap, trigger, odds, I will be hurt. It's a six. Draw, pass. Untap, draw a card. Things are different. Cast a Brass Squire. Up to six. Arcane Signet. Get another counter. Pass turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Gotta land. Crack it. Dothy Boyd Walker. I'm passing. I'll go to my turn. I'll play an Ancient Tomb. The safest way to do this is just bring myself down to 36 and cast Just Come. Comes in with two counters. Zero Jessica onto Ishai. Triples the boy. Yep. Threat assessment is a little interesting here. Hmm, let's see. Dylan is far away from Godo. Fernando, you guys don't really have much. I guess Jimmy has counters and interaction. <laughs> He's got a source to blow shares. Keep that in mind. If you attack him, you're probably going to lose your thing. I don't know if he would do it if you attack either Dylan or me. I guess that's true. Dylan, how many cards are in your hand? I have three. And Fernando, how many do you have? I have four. Man, hmm, I have no, uh, Fernando, I'm gonna hit you with the lethal Jess. Yeah, <laughs> I, I really don't have anything. <laughs> I'm dead. Damn it. So there goes one of you, pass the turn. Jimmy, what are we doing I'm, with that? I'm, <laughs> I'm shaking right now. <laughs> really nothing really even happened. Nothing, just seven spells total, Not, that's nothing. Yeah, that's crazy. Do I do it now? I don't know. So, it all right, so real re the real answer is like, it, it, it helps you on mana right now. So that's good now, but you can also probably bully Cameron into like attacking me with it. I don't know, right, is that well, helpful to you? Like I might be I'm, able to help you with this if I draw like a red elemental blast or something like that. <sighs> what if I have one in my hand right now? I've never really been great at politicking. I always just talk about like what the correct decision would be. We're talking about whether or not uh, Jimmy should be sword so pop sharing Cameron's Ishai then. And I think he should probably wait for the reason that I said, because he can make him attack me instead. But I probably shouldn't be telling Jimmy that, right? I probably should be not letting Cameron know that he should attack me first. I don't know, I can't help it. That's just how I play. I really need to hit a land too. So I think I do this now. I'm in a thought scour, targeting myself. Two lands in the bin immediately. No way. Yes, oh, there's yes. a swamp. There we go, <laughs> yes. I'm lying to Okay. Okay, untap, keep land. Okay, there's the land. There we Inside go. Orchard. I'm not gonna risk it. Pass. Yeah, okay. Untap. Draw a card. Well, shit. Yeah, you know, if you ain't, if you ain't. Cameron, how many cards in your hand? Five. How many of them are um, counter spells? <laughs> all of them. I'm answering that question. Six all of them. them are, you say all of them are counter spells? 
Yeah. Who are you attacking with that Ishai? <laughs> uh, it honestly depends on what you do this turn. I'm leaning towards Jimmy if you don't get a lot of mana. Don't do it. Oh, God. I honestly have no idea what the correct play to do here is. I think Ishai's getting in our heads. Well, fuck it. Cast Jeweled Lotus. I will get a counter. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Jeweled Lotus on the stack. Damn it. Don't Dylan, do anything. I'm going to silence you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have nothing to say about a silence. Yeah, so at this point, I kind of put myself on being dead already. I had just assumed Cameron would be attacking me next turn. I didn't think there was anything I could do about it. So my only solution to that was to just try to win now instead and hope that Cameron was bluffing on interaction. Doesn't actually have anything. Um, looking back, obviously, uh, I should have just listened to Cameron and had tried to convince him to attack Jimmy. I, I literally been able told to. you what to do. Yeah, I literally I, told you I what said, my mindset was. Oh, never mind. I'm just gonna win instead. <laughs> I guess I'm. I'm not gonna equip. Yeah, I'll attack your Jessica for one. Pass my turn. Well, Dylan, you solidified yourself. Oh no! <laughs> as the person I have. No, to I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I take it back. I will zero Jessica onto Ishai and swing in at you, Dill. Is that really how this is gonna be, Cameron? Through all we've you're, been through. You're threatening a win. You're trying to win on your turn. I can cycle this star storm. Uh, I can do that. That lets me draw a card. <laughs> okay. Nope. That's a that's an Urza saga. Yeah. I'm I'm dead to commander damage. This is messed Jesus up. Jesus Christ. This is what's happening. What is this? Should I have not it attacked is. Jeskai? Maybe. I probably shouldn't have attacked Jeskai. Oh God. Now I am going to pass the turn. Huh. I wonder who's gonna attack next. Hmm. <laughs> so <we're gonna> attack. <laughs> <laughs> should we have a little battle? We should probably have a little battle. Yeah. I'm feeling it. Okay. Uh, swords to plowshares targeting your giant scary thing. I'm gonna get a counter on my giant scary thing. I'm gonna cast mental misstep for two life going down to 34. I'm gonna dispel that. Ishai's up again. Flashing dual caster mage. Oh, oh cool. Does it resolve? Yes. My new mental misstep is gonna target dispel. I cannot continue. Shall we go to your turn? We shall. Come on crypt two. Come on draws. I think I can buy a turn. How many cards are left in your hand after that exchange? Three. I'm in an Imperial Seal. Okay. Lose two. Ishai trigger. Okay, I'm passing. Good on my turn. Draw. Minus Jessica targeting Ishai. I'm going to respond. Okay. To that. You don't know me very well, but I'm very fond of a certain type of counter spell. I'm going to Tails End that trigger. <laughs> hmm, that does save you a turn. Okay. That still triggers Ishai though, so you still get one more counter. Oh, that's true. But it's not lethal. It is not lethal, eh? You just definitely buy you a turn. It is true. I guess let's just go to combat and let's attack you for 15. So I'm at 19 with yes. almost commander damage. I think it's like 19 commander damage. And then we'll pay five going down to 32. Cast Hornfell, Horn of Bounty. What's it do? This is the flip side of Burgi that allows me to discard a card and exile the top two cards of my library and I can play them this turn. I will pass. And tip up, keep draw. I guess while you're tapped out, I do this. I'm going to path to Did exile. Did you roll Oh, sorry, you're right. Two, path to exile targeting Ishai. I'm out of responses for that set. Right? <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of incredible that Ishai did as much damage as it did. Like, you didn't really have to do anything, especially with the Jewel Lotus. It's just, it's basically one man and a card to yeah. get this giant beater. And with Jessica, you're just one-shotting people at the table. That's something that we don't have access to in CDH at the moment. There's no deck that does what this does. I love that you can, this is a way to play through stacks as well. Yeah, just kill the players. So Ishai's down and I can go get a basic. I'm pretty sure I play a basic. I play a basic. Spellseeker. I'm gonna equip the Greaves to it. Great. And then I'll tutor. I guess you have to tutor before you can equip the Greaves, but I'm I don't sure. think it's gonna matter. Oh wait, I'm just telling you about my future. What is it? It will be demonic consultation. <laughs> You can see me trying to fix my board, which is I was doing for like a, a, so long, and I ended up just making it completely worse for a game two. It's even more glaring. Then I'll equip and then pass. All right, how many cards are in your hand? That will be two. All right, I'll draw for turn. Cast a Rite of Flame. Make two red. Go down to 30, get two colorless. Discard Brain Freeze. Exile two from my library. Oh. Oh, oh wow. Okay. I I concede. That's pretty lucky. Uh, yes, that was incredibly lucky that I now didn't need to have a thought process going into this. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, discard them all, discard them all. Discard right, them all. And, and then I, yeah, exactly. I'm discovering that like, oh yes, this horn doesn't say exile the card. You just put it in your grave. Oh, thank you, Underworld yeah, Breach. No. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah you can heal yourself. Discard dramatic reversal. Get another two. Play land for turn. Underworld breach. And you have brain freeze. And yeah. Cast silence. I'm gonna give it to you. You got it. Okay. I have wheel of fortune in my hand here. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So this and brain freeze. Yeah, and brain freeze. This would. This is seals the deal. Keep milling you out with brain freeze until you have no cards in your library, and then di- make you die. <laughs> I was just so ready for the next game. I don't know why people even try to win with Dasa's Oracle. The best way to win is just if you're not played against Gitrog, just mill everybody out and then make them lose on their upkeep. Just <laughs> nope, nope, untap, upkeep. No, you're dead. That was like the perfect game for this Ishai Jessica deck, right? It really was. This is the ideal start. Get your beater out as quickly as possible, literally on turn one, and then just wait for the game to play out and kill people immediately. If you want uh, to see more of us playing Dead on Board with these same decks, we do so on the Patreon. We have a full hour-long game, too, that was much more interactive than this one. I just don't have the time this week to edit it. So it's going on the, the <laughs> Children Win series. It's a little bit longer form. Okay, I think I'm ready. I'm ready to. Me too. Yeah. Uh, any for game effects? That's for me. Seltzer! <laughs> no, I, I don't have many. Nice. All right, well then I will draw. I will play a command tower and cast an Esper Sentinel and pass. We also played a game for their channel. Uh, we played different decks. They play different decks. Mm-hmm. Go look on their channel for it. It should be coming out soon. Go check out that on board. Do you want to say um, anything else about this game? I think I had a turn one Ishai and two players or on a mold of five. I, I think that's what happened. And that <laughs> yeah, was pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's what the whole game was because of. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon. Like our $50 patrons, Tommy the Oddball, Swampy McGee, Peter Larson, Angelo Corsi, Jimmy Midnight, Baby Jeebus, and Mario Hernandez. Thanks, y'all. Check out our bonfire store for all of our awesome t-shirts and sweatshirts. If you want to check out any of the cards that you saw today, you can do so at our TCG Player affiliate link down below. Check out our Alter Sleeps affiliate link for 5% off of your order down below. If you want to check out any of our play mats, you can do that at our website, playtowinmtg.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. See y'all next time. Also, deck boxes. We still have oh, some in yes. stock. If you want one, go get one. Deck boxes. Have some gravy on your turkey. What do they say? Frosting on your cake and eating it too? That's what's going on right now. This is a frosting and cake situation.